Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Will Bussy, the Mile High Mile. And today we're going to be taking a look at this particular case for the Zebro. Rather, from Zebro. This was provided to us from Zebro. at Z B R O. That's the name of the company. And uh, it is a Nintendo Switch case. Well, I think it's kind of interesting is it has like a. The outside of it has, weirdly enough, Animal Crossing related um, images on it. Decent little handle here, two little um, decent things over here, but the big thing about this is that it allows you to transport the Hori Split Pad Pro. Now, this is for the normal Switch. You can use a Switch Lite in it too or whatnot, but specifically they want to uh, they want you to use it with the uh, Hori Split Pad Pro. It's that is specifically it. So let me grab that for a moment. If it's those, but yeah, personally I prefer to. I use the, sometimes a lot. I use the Switch Pad Pro. Like sorry, the Hori Split Pad Pro, like this. Also, because then you can like hold it like that. But most of the time I'm using the the turbo function on these, so not a big deal. You can of course use it with um, without the Switchpad Pro, but this is specifically intended for this. Let's pull that through there. And it holds it, and then there's a little zipper up here on top for use with other devices. Um, like I've got the uh, 8 bit do um, light controller in there, because that one fits in there pretty well. Um, sadly, these don't fit very well in there. You'd think they would, but they they don't. It doesn't really close, see? And it'll, it would actually damage the sticks for these if we did that. But let's get into the good and the bad about this particular switch device or switch container. Now with this one here, I have to make sure that this is centered and that uh, if I've got it set up so it doesn't turn anything on, I need it to be like backwards actually. See? Like this is pretty secure, but you can't really use this top zipper for much. Um, as far as the case goes, it's pretty nice. I've been carrying it around a bit. Uh, I, just, I just throw it into my messenger bag or into a backpack and it works out just fine. You can't really hold anything in there, like my wallet's not going to fit in here, <laughs> same with my keys. And there are some cons to it. There are There is space for for 10 games, but let's say you're trying to use this one here. That's a little awkward to get stuff out of because it it, it um, directly conflicts with that zipper. I kind of feel like uh, this part right here is just kind of like an afterthought. My thoughts on this are that it's generally on sale. You can... If you need a need something for the Switch Pad Pro, or like to carry your um, Nintendo Switch with your Hori Split Pad Pro, then this will do the trick. There are a couple things that I would like to mention about it. While it is pretty, pretty sturdy, there is a little bit of give. Watch. I'm pushing in the L and R but R3 buttons. I feel like there should be sturdier construction in this lid part. I should not be able to, like, do that. Um, this part here, a little bit awkward. I kind of feel what, feel that like they should have when they're putting this together. Maybe instead of um, this, it would be a little bit better to have like a little bit of a ridge right here, and then just have this have a magnet enclosure. That would actually work a little bit better. So it snaps onto it instead of this. This is nice. And um, unlike a lot of products that come from like say Wish or whatnot, it didn't have that weird dead smell that some things have. Works out pretty well. Um, this is nicely padded. This is fine. It's not gonna scratch your screen or anything. It's fine. And it works out pretty well like if you're taking this with you. Uh, generally, I don't actually do a lot of traveling with my normal Nintendo Switch. Um, because I use this one mostly for video capture or so. I use my Switch Lite outside of there everywhere. And uh, Switch Lite fits. See, that fits out just, just fine, kind of. It um, 
<laughs> that little hard case. By the way, this hard case, this hard case doesn't have any give. This particular case is semi-hard. It does have some give to it, and that can be an issue um, if you're looking for it. Just general use. When you put your switch and your Hori Split Pad Pro in there, you're good to go. You're not going to be able to fit in your Joy-Cons in it. You'll have to find a different spot to put those. And the only controllers I'd recommend for it would be the little Hori Split, uh, the 8 Bit Do Mini ones, or this 8 Bit Do Lite one. And specifically, the reason for this one is because it fits in there, it's got a low profile. The Super Nintendo ones they sell, or even the um, NES ones, are too thick to fit in there properly. But that's neither here nor there on that. To be perfectly honest, when it comes to this particular device, um, if, you can, if you need a, a um, case for that, this will do just fine. And you can find it pretty cheap. Um, so, if you, if you need it for this specific case usage, I would pick it up. Outside of that, there are other cases I would recommend before this. But if you need to transport these around, you don't like, like them loose in your bag, or what I would do is I would take both of these, put them in a little Crown Royale bag, and throw it in. Um, but yeah, um, for this specific case usage, this thing does that really well. Works out pretty well. It, it's not gonna, your switch is not gonna get damaged, but you're not gonna have a lot of options for carrying more stuff. So, um, if I were giving this a letter grade, I would probably give it like a B minus, maybe a C plus, somewhere in that range. It does what it says it does, but it doesn't allow you to hold a ton of stuff. You do have a good amount of games. I would say you can hold nine comfortably, ten if you're feeling a little adventurous in that way. But yeah, thank you for letting me review this. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give this a C plus. It does what it says it does, it works, and it's a pretty decent little thing for like carrying around this setup. And I'll be interested to see how it works with other things in the future. But yeah, what do you think of this? Let me know in the comments below. Are you interested in purchasing this? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, make sure you hit that like, share, subscribe, and ring that little bell to be notified whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. And until next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.